Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Back in the woodshed. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, splitting wedges, felling wedges, the wedges that you would use uh, if you've got a chainsaw. Now the ones that I really dislike are these plastic garbage. This one's actually made by steel. And as you can see, you just hit it with a hammer and the plastic gets deformed. I mean, I've hardly used that. A couple of hits and it gets deformed. Uh, look, if you're cutting a tree down, they're actually quite good that you push them in in the opposite direction that you want to drop the tree down. So that's the plastic ones. They're all right, I guess, for home users. If you're just sort of doing a little bit of uh, tree felling, uh, you, may, you might have a couple of acres or something and you might be dropping some trees. You'd probably get away with that, but it's certainly not going to last you uh, for many, many years. The ones that will would be these metal ones. And these are quite strong and you can belt these in with a sledgehammer they come in different sizes that's a number three so you've got two threes i think there's a number uh, we'll just have a look at the other one there you've got a number two i think yeah number two there so they usually get you away with trouble and you've got this one here this is really old, really old. It's, it's not even straight. Would have been made by a blacksmith over 100 and something years ago. Really, really old. And then you got this useless thing. So you can see I've been belting it with a bloody hammer. Why is it useless? Well, maybe overseas when you've got soft timber, it might be all right if you've got some birch or pine. But all these here, will, if you want to actually split timber, if you want to use them for splitting, forget it. Ain't going to work. They'll just bounce off. Even this one. This will bounce off the timber. We've got Australian hardwood here. And I think I've mentioned it before in some of the other videos. Some of the toughest wood in the world. If I'm doing iron bark, which is what this is here, uh... You need a decent size crack in the timber before you're going to put one of these in there. So in most cases, I'll never use these to split timber. I've got a hydraulic uh, splitter anyway, but still like to uh, sometimes use uh, things by hand. So how can you split timber with a uh, splitting wedge? Well, quite simply, I've got a really good one here. That is a wood splitting wedge wedge very very thin angle you're looking at about 18 degrees now if you've got it like that that's eight that's 18 degrees i've measured it that will split timber so you don't want a bigger angle uh that'll actually go into gray box timber that's a bit of gray box there so uh that would work quite well so i guess if you look at an axe uh, it has to be an axe is a different shape than that so for those that are thinking about it that that's I don't know what sort of chisel that is I found that at a market but the angles all wrong it's it's more than 18 degrees so you won't split timber with that unless it's real soft timber and I guess that's I guess that's the thing you can split timber with these even this useless bloody uh, one that I've got here, this big star type one, but not here in Australia. So it's a waste of time. Now, the funny thing is that company that sell this is called Cyclone. They used to make some brilliant shovels and everything else. They should know better that uh, something like that's not going to work in Aussie timber. This is before I had a lot of experience. Now that I've got a lot of experience, I can tell people, don't buy this, don't buy that, don't buy that, and don't buy that. And the funny thing is, this is a really ironic part about it. What does it say on there? Splitting wedge. 
I can tell you right now, this won't split any of this timber that I've got. It'll bounce off it. Simple as that. Just bounce off it. And uh, you can even see on one of the logs that I tried, here, I put it in here and it just, yeah, done nothing. Look, that's, uh, that's about it for me. So uh, give us a thumbs up. So just to briefly recap, for all those people that live here in Australia, uh, if you're looking for a proper splitting wedge, do not buy this type that they sell at the local hardware store, buy Cyclone. Uh, very, very difficult to buy something like this. I had to go down and get them at a market. This is probably 50, 60 years old, very, very old. Uh, most likely it doesn't have any name on it. It was made by a blacksmith. So if you're looking for a decent splitting wedge, now where, where we use these splitting wedges, what you can do, once you've split it, or once you've got a decent split in it, then a lot of times you can use this uh, to split it even further. So this will split any timber, guaranteed. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Chainsaw Users on Facebook. That's another group that we've got going there. So uh, you're quite welcome to join and come over. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.